Hey everyone, I'm Louie. My dog William and I have been living in a van off and on for a little over two years now. So far we have adventured through 21 states and three Canadian provinces. We've climbed, hiked, and have met a bunch of awesome nomads along the way. After a few months break living in a house through the beginning of the pandemic, we have built out a whole new van and hit the road again. This time caravanning with my mom and her pup lady. Thanks for watching and subscribe to find out where we end up each week. This week we have made it to Olympic National Forest. We have been traveling so much. We've been moving way too much for the past month now and I'm finally excited to be at our first national park, national forest destination that we have planned. If you're new here, make sure to click the subscribe button if you want to see where we go every week. The reason why we've been sticking around this area is because of Lady's surgery that she had on her ACL and she had to go back for an appointment um, at the two week mark. So we've been sticking around the coast. Um, and as you probably know, the forests are on fire right now in California and in all of the West Coast really. We've been trying to stay as far away as possible from the fires as possible. Um, it's getting to a point where we can't really avoid the possibility of fires anymore. All of a sudden my mic started to act all whack, but what I wanted to say was that my mom and I have definitely been affected by the wildfires on the west coast, but we are so fortunate to have left the forest before things got really bad. On top of what's happening, it's extremely sad to see the state where I grew up set on fire so badly and increasingly worse every year. It really presents evidence for what effects climate change will have on our world in the future. It makes me really sad and hopeless that quite possibly other generations won't be able to experience the forests of the west coast in the same way we get to. For now, I wanted to share a few days of our lives in the Olympic National Forest. I hope anyone impacted by this disaster is able to recover and heal from this traumatic event. Well, while we wait for mom to get here, we're gonna do some video editing. This video editing, things get more and more intense with the more I learn and the more I am being creative. Been learning lots about making videos, which is making the process of editing a lot longer. But that's okay, I love doing it. Why are you so grumpy today? You won't eat, you won't drink. She's here! She's here! She's here! I made it! You made it! Oh my god! Yay. I never thought I'd get here. <laughs> Hi! Oh, Lady's so happy. Hi, 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 hi. Oh. <laughs> Setting up camp. Just having a little breakfast before do some van work. Check out this blackberry jam that I made from the blackberry bushes over there. I feel like a woman of the woods when I make <laughs> <laughs> that's what they say. That's what um, the fleet foxes are like. Something woman of the woods. <laughs> We're just having some breakfast. I'm so happy to have my mom back. <laughs> I'm a mommy's girl. <laughs> What's mom doing? I'm just a mama's girl. <laughs> that's so funny. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna go so hard this weekend. Lady, are you doing all right today? She's like, life sucks. <laughs> In no. this cone. 
And William's like, this blackberry jam is beautiful. Thank you. Oh, excuse me. Oh, yeah, it's it's kind of tart and it's got a lot of seeds in it. Mm, tart's good. You know, it's a little crunchy. It's like crunchy peanut butter. Yeah, <laughs> but it's crunchy jam instead. <laughs> Next time we could even, I mean, we could like improve the process every time we do it. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, Drink. Uh, strain some of the seeds out maybe? I don't know. I guess they probably have all those machines to do all that. They leave some of the seeds in. Wait, why don't you eat your breakfast first okay. and then work? Good idea. That's stressful. Your gut will be stressed out if you eat while you're stressed out. True. Just enjoy your food. Hang out with me. Okay. Be a character in my movie. <laughs> in your movie. <laughs> Dancing to mom's soundtrack music. <laughs> it's time for mama to get building. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why you always laugh at me? I'm, I'm not laughing at you. Oh. I'm laughing with at me. <laughs> Do you see? You're funny, you're entertaining. <laughs> I'm, um, I'm trying to entertain. Look, you have soundtrack music for your Well, I'm gonna have to cut that. I'm gonna have to put music over this or something because it's gonna be copyrighted. It will be inspiring. You're welcome. <laughs> All right, I'm getting pumped and amped. I'm getting ready to build the van. Yeah. <laughs> Don't hire me for your uh, uh, your rap concert. <laughs> your rap, uh, see, I'm... <laughs> I'm trying to flip flop and finish this van so I can give you all a tour. So we're gonna just start in the front, finish what needs to be finished up here, and then move throughout the van, finish everything, put the final touches on everything. I feel like I have maybe three days more of work to do and then it's complete. Slight embarrassment at how dirty everything is in here. You must clean before you can build is my motto. And I learned that in my last van. Makes it a lot easier to build. My mom gifted me this vacuum for cleaning my van because she doesn't use it in her van, so I'm gonna use it. I'm not gonna lie. This like bad low air quality is definitely making my chest feel funny. Um and we're in a spot that isn't that bad, so. That's a little concerning. There's really nothing I can do about it though, so. Yeah, wish me luck. Maybe I can suck all of the bad air out of through this filter and fix this whole fire problem. <laughs> now to dust and detail everything. The way to be safe and still have cactuses in your car is to get a fake cactus. <laughs> so if you crash, it's not gonna hurt you. <laughs> Come here. So here we have a CB radio for communication in the forest and in places that don't have service. I'm going to install this today. Let's see if I can find the wire that leads from the antenna on my car radio to here, to the back of this so that I can use it. And then I gotta wire it as well. So we're gonna try to figure this out. <laughs> Shouldn't be too hard, but I always say that about things and then it ends up being hard. The life of DIY. In the process of trying to find a route to put the wires for the CB radio, I found the fuse box and I just replaced a bunch of old fuses that are like corroded and stuff with new fuses. Um, most of the stuff was working already, but I had to change them, you know, just to give her some new life. This is the fuse box. That's a hella old looking fuse. Who knows what kind of fuse that is. That's a lamp fuse there. And then it comes with this little cool cover here that you put on here. Oh, should I put on with both hands. And then it's got a fuse identification thing. I just went through each thing. And this fuse here, this fuse here was super corroded and I'll show you. 
look at it and dirty and just ooh questionable there and then I replaced it and it like kind of sparked so which makes me think it was probably not working before whatever it was oh there's some extra fuses on the back here too hell yeah that's super cool it's probably gonna work now I mean the connection was made but it just it's so corroded like maybe that could affect the amount of power that gets through goes through it interferes with it that's exciting okay now back to what we were actually trying to do sticking the wire through this little hole to go to the front oh I see it it's right there hell yeah <laughs> okay mild setback I left all of the screws and mounting gear for this thing in my mom's storage so um, yeah so now I'm just looking for random screws that will fit in here plan B with a little creativity you'll always figure it out <laughs> gosh why am I like that I'm so bad at myself down here screwing the holes in to mount this and I find this mysterious switch what is that what is it for? It's so random. Just a mysterious switch of some sort. I can't stop turning it off and on now though. Hopefully it's not something vital. Jesus. Well, it turns out it's not connected to anything, but it could be connected to something. That's kind of um, badass actually. That will be really cool to figure out something to put there. Hmm, wonder what it was used for before. Mounted the little mounter right under here. Hopefully, that'll work okay. I did it. Yay. Now we just gotta get an antenna. I can't really. Channel six. Now I just gotta get an antenna. And then my mom's also gotta hook hers up so that we can communicate. Because the only good thing it does right now is save us in a tight spot where we have no way to call out to people. <laughs> I'm excited. I feel so hip right now. Even though this is an old school technology. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Task number one done. Time to move to number two. Uh, so I'm at a standstill. I'm feeling super uh, confused about what to do because the wood that I bought is half inch thick. Well, it was leftover wood from the main part of the build and that's half inch thick and well, it doesn't fit and it's too thick for the water canister to fit in between the seats. So. I have to come up with a different plan. Thinking possibly uh, just putting the water drug, water drugs, the water jugs in the passenger seat instead, or where the passengers sit instead. I don't know. That also doesn't make 100% sense to me either. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Doesn't look like much now, but when I'm done with it in five years, it will be awesome. This is the sign of someone who is done and does not want to build anything else ever again. This is what I have completed today. We got a snack box. Lots of snacks. I think I'm still gonna make a little lid or a little another little box here that can hold a mug or some drinks or something. Anyways, I'm going to show y'all the rest of this when it's done tomorrow and then we're going to do a couple more projects tomorrow and then I think we're halfway through the three days of stuff I have to finish. So that's kind of exciting. I look really spooky with this light, sorry. <laughs> Tell the camera what, what just happened. <laughs> I was standing. Okay, first of all, you should show them how dark it is outside. <laughs> yeah, it's look, it's pretty dark. Yeah. 
I'm standing in the <laughs> like, love for the record. <laughs> I'm standing in the doorway talking to you, and all of a sudden I heard footsteps, <laughs> and I went, oh, and jumped, oh my god, you <laughs> jumped into the van. <laughs> oh my god, it was scary. <laughs> It's pitch black out there. It's scary. And then she hit her head on this when she died. I didn't break it, did I? No, you're fine. Okay. I, I hurt just my toe. <laughs> that was scary. I get it. It's scary. But I don't know if somebody's coming after us. William's like chilling. He's just like, well, whatever. <laughs> yeah. William wasn't afraid. He's like, why are you freaking out? <laughs> So, you've had your big war room. Good morning, everyone. My mom had to move her van down the road in order to get better service so she could work. It's so weird how it's like in and out, it's never just stable. I need to finish doing some building stuff and then work on some computer stuff. And then we need to go drive closer to where our plans are going to take place tomorrow. So that is our day. I better get started. I woke up late <laughs> as usual. It's so gloomy out today. Here is the little lid thing I made for the front box area to keep. One, the smells from the toilet from coming into the cabin, and two, to make it look way more aesthetically pleasing because I spend a lot of time in the front and driving and I want it to look good. So this is the best I could come up with for the front. I'll show you how it goes on. And then right now I'm just gonna sand the whole thing and eventually every wood piece in the van is going to be wood waxed so it's protected and I can easily wipe off dirt from everything. So just trying to finish all of the wood pieces and then it's gonna take me probably about a week to finish. I'm hoping not longer than, not any longer than that to wax everything. Um, it's gonna look so good. I'm so ready to be done with this build. Like, I just want to live. I just want to adventure and not have to worry about building stuff anymore. Even though I could just stop right now. But what's the point if I give up and I don't finish building out my dream van? So, here we go. Now that it's lighter out, I can show you the function, excuse me William, I can show you the function of my little box. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> hey William. <laughs> anything too fancy, I'm not like a professional woodworker or anything, but I'm pretty darn happy with this. It really does make the front look a lot better. We are at Ruby Beach. The Fleet Foxes have a song where they sing about Ruby Beach. That's why I know about Ruby Beach. So, headed to the beach. William's gonna stay here. I walked him in the Quinault Forest earlier today. I just kinda need a break. He pulls a lot when he's really excited. And I just kinda wanna enjoy the beach today. So, still doesn't stop me from feeling bad about it though. <laughs> Of wood. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm inappropriate. All right, everybody, I want to show you my new house that I just bought. <laughs> Welcome to my house tour. Inside you'll find a log, and then if you go up here, 
there's a little tunnel that takes you up here. Yeah, it's a lovely house. I, I, I love it. It's my new property. <laughs> See, and I got a, and I got a gazebo. Front Yeah. No. Cold. You want some of yeah. that?